Hey everybody, my name is Ryan Swanson. I'm the head coach for Team 6045 Sabre Robotics. We're going to be talking today about the world high score from Ventura County Regional, where a powerful Red Alliance takes on the uh, number five seed. And uh, we're going to see some really great match play, really effective strategy. And, you know, we're going to talk about, you know, what it takes to, t uh, to perform at a world high score type of level. In this match, we have Team 4481, the Rembrandts out of the Netherlands. We've got Team 4414, uh, High Tide, you'll remember them from the World Championship last year. And Team 4276 on a powerful one seed, like I mentioned. Um, it's a really interesting match. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineer their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash first to learn more and apply. Support funds content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fund members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. What we're going to find, uh, we're going to start out in auto. I'll go through, we'll talk about that. And the way I'm going to approach this, I'm going to talk about the game in terms of amplification periods. Uh, so you'll notice that the Red Alliance manages to have five amplification periods throughout the video, uh, sorry, throughout the match. And it's super impressive. Most alliances are getting two, maybe three, uh, five amplification periods. We'll talk about how they optimize each one and, and where there's some room for improvement as well. But starting off here in auto, we're going to see 4481 run a three-piece from the center. We're going to see 4414 clear out the three notes close, and they're going to grab an additional note from far, make that two additional notes. They're going to end auto right on top. So I would call that a five and a half piece auto. Meanwhile, 4481, if I let auto finish up here, they're going to end up also on the center line. So you've got two red robots. They've got nine notes scored already in auto. 4276 was parked and they put one in during auto as well. And nine is impressive. I think that's the second best we've had so far this season. 1690 and 3339 uh, came away with 10 notes in auto at ISR 2, I believe. But nine notes in auto, that's a great start. You see 49 points coming out of the autonomous period. Pretty tough to beat. So the first moves out of auto, we're going to see 4414 quickly try to grab the note, or uh, well, let's, let's let it play here. So 4414 smartly immediately shoots the note that they grabbed in auto toward their speaker, and they try to grab the note that was sitting next to them. However, they're beat by the Blue Alliance. So 4481, they go directly to the source. 4276 is doing the same. 4414, having been beaten, also goes to the source. One thing I'm going to point out here right away, we've got two red robots at the source, and we've got one red robot at the amp. They're currently cycling out of sync, which is going to really help them later on. So you see 4481 to the amp, 4276 is about to make one of just three unamplified notes that they put into the speaker. So 4276 with about two minutes left in the match, they put in an unamplified speaker note. And you're going to see 4414 scores in the amp, grabs another note, and they score amplifying with a minute 54 left. So if 4276 had waited five more seconds, they could have had an amplified note rather than an unamplified note. So as you see, uh, we've got 4414 putting in the first amplified note. 4481 is coming in to follow. They put in the second. 4276 follows up. And actually, what 4276 does is interesting. So instead of taking a shot at the speaker, they actually feed the note, and it's sitting in the red amp zone. 4414 being fast, they started off the ampli amplification period, and now they're going to finish it with another note in the speaker. So first amplification period, we see the Red Alliance come away with three amplified notes. 
Now, 42-76 is miss is being picked up by 44-14. They're scoring it in the amp. 44-81 right behind them, running another full field cycle. Now, 42-76 and 44-14, perfectly in sync, scoring two amplified notes right away. Again, 44-81 out of sync at the source, driving back. They're going to put in the third amplified note for this cycle. Now, this is important. You see 44-14, they take a midfield crash. Watch them as they come back here. They're going to the source. Now, as they come back, midfield collision. This midfield collision is the only thing that prevents them from getting uh, four amplified notes during the second amplification period. Again, you'll notice 4276. They're going to take six total shots during this match. Three of them go in. Two of them are amplified speaker shots. One is unamplified. 4414, however, will pick up all three of their misses and put them either into the amp or an amplified speaker. So none of the shots 4276 is taking are going to waste, and that's largely because they're shooting from the opposite side of the subwoofer from the amplifier. So basically, if they miss it, the, the miss note end, ends up right by the red amp, a uh, very convenient and protected location for 4414 uh, to pick up. So I'm going to keep playing here. 4481 to the amp. 4414 right behind them. 4276 is going to kick off the third amplification period with an amplified note. And you've got 4481 and 4414 pumping in notes two and three during the third amplification period. 4276 just barely misses their fourth note during the amplification period. However, like I mentioned, that note is in the perfect spot for, to be utilized later. So again, 4481 to the amp, 4414 waiting for them to the amp. They're about to kick off their fourth amplification period with about 45 seconds left in the match. 4481 with a second note during the amplification period. Now, what you're going to notice here is 4276 struggling a bit with their intake. They're actually going to switch to defense, and that's pretty notable. They're putting up a world-high score with... Uh, only really two robots playing offense the entire time. 4276 effectively only playing uh, offense for about half the match. So super impressive, high score. You know, one thing that makes this possible, I'm going to rewind it just a bit here. 42, or sorry, 4414 is able to get two amplified notes running full field cycles during the fourth amplification period. Super impressive. Uh, the ability for a robot to do that really unlocks a lot of points for an alliance. Now, what you'll watch is 4414 with 18 seconds left. They put in an unamplified speaker shot. My theory is that they're thinking they're not going to get an opportunity for a fifth amplification period. However, if you watch 4481, they now are putting in the second amp uh, note. So they are ready to amplify. They've got 11 seconds left. You've got 4414 going for their trap, 4481 going for their final amplified speaker shot. We have eight seconds left. They're traversing the field, getting caught up. Now at four seconds, pause it here, three seconds left. 4481 just puts in their final amplified uh, note. Most teams, they're going to dip back and park. Many teams wouldn't even be successful at that. 4481, however is going to last minute clutch climb. So very impressive. 4276, meanwhile, parks in the perfect location. 4414, they put in their, their uh, trap. And we're going to see a world high score match. Uh, basically, there are a few things that led to this. The fact that 13 of their 16 total amps or speaker shots were amplified. And I talked through the three of them. In two of their five amplification periods, or sorry, in four of their five amplification periods, they score three amplified notes. The last one's just kind of a bonus, 4481 balling out, getting uh, two amps and one speaker with less than 30 seconds left on their own. Pretty crazy. But in two out of the five, they had the opportunity to have a perfect speaker amplification period where they could have gotten four in. In one case, they got bumped. In the other case, they had a missed shot. So they left a little bit of uh, room for improvement. They also really didn't uh, completely optimize the stage points at the end. 
later on in the year, I think we're going to see more teams potentially climbing. Um, overall, though, 143 points. We're in week two. Uh, these are two incredibly impressive teams. Very, very impressive supporting partner in 4276. Overall, a very fun match to watch. Very impressive. Uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing the game kind of develop. You know, another another note is that 4481, it seemed like they were designated to run every other, uh, sorry, every cycle full field. Meanwhile, 4414, every miss that was uh, that was made or every cleanup opportunity, it seemed like they were designated as the team to take that. Somehow, whether it was planned or not, it worked out really well. In total, 4481 runs 11 teleop cycles. I want to say 4414 did 14. Um, 4276 took six shots, made three of them. Well-rounded alliance, but you know, obviously to put up 143, you've got to have some pretty impressive play. So like I said, my name is Ryan Swanson. Thank you for watching Funalysis. Uh, look forward to more videos like this as we get further into the season, likely targeting more uh, world high scores as teams break the record. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineer their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotics scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to Kettering.edu first to learn more and apply.